Hey cinema fans, welcome back to another movie review. Today we got Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw. Honestly, you want to talk about over top. It definitely takes it over the top. But you know, the thing I will give this film credit for is that yes, it goes over the top with the villain, of course. Literally a super powered human being. And you gotta think, this this whole franchise started off by just a couple of guys racing and just a little mob uh, here and there, but like it, it, it didn't have this MCU superhero. Don't get me wrong, I love the MCU and DC, but like this franchise was meant to be, I mean, I guess it's it does a lot of overtopness to where this film, it may, would make sense for them to do what they do in this film, but I do appreciate something that I've been missing from, you know, from Fast 6 and was for 7 is that the, the, the brotherly bond between Vin Diesel and Paul Walker, but we get that with Dwayne and Jason Statham. But here's the thing about Dwayne Rock. He is, when it comes to him being in films, he is the main star. And so is Jason Statham. I don't think it works when it comes to having these two stars that only usually are the main star of the film alone the main star. And having these two together, it just feels a little too much of a ego competition. Which is fine, and it makes sense for these characters and what they are and who they are, but it just feels like, yes, it is a spinoff from the Fast and Furious franchise, but it feels like way too much of a spinoff to where it's like why is this a spinoff to the franchise and i mean i get it i mean we get into fast nine and, and then we'll see what happens in fast 10 but like it just i mean it'll just elba does his, his his thing in this film all of them do ryan reynolds shows up in this film he does his thing and i mean it's just this film just doesn't it doesn't do it for me i give this film a solid 6.2 out of 10. Thank you for watching.